Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a Stormguard Citadel mystery guide. So I'm going to be going over each of the six mysteries within the Stormguard Citadel, and we're going to go through a walkthrough on how to complete each one of these mysteries. Also, I will have timestamps in the description down below, so if you guys want to jump to a specific mystery, then you can do that. And before I start the video, I do want to mention that if you guys do enjoy it, definitely hit that thumbs up button. It will help me out. And hit that subscribe button as well if you're looking for more RuneScape 3 content. Anyway, guys, I really hope you do enjoy. So we're going to start off by looking at the requirements for each of the mysteries. So first off, we have the Atonement mystery. It does require 70 archaeology, which is, of course, the requirement to go into the Stormguard Citadel. Also, the Leap of Faith does require 70 archaeology as well, so you can complete these two mysteries as soon as you unlock this new dig site. At level 76 archaeology, you can complete the Spy Who Loved Metal, and then next is Wing Out, which you can complete as well at level 76 archaeology. You also need level 40 smithing. And then the last two mysteries, they can be completed at level 85 archaeology. This one can be boosted by two levels if you are using the Cup of Soil Tea, so you can actually complete it at level 83. And then the last mystery to complete all of them for Stormguard Citadel, it is the Howl's Floating Workshop, and it can be completed at level 95 archaeology. And so that is basically all you need. There aren't any items that you will need to complete these mysteries, so it is going to be pretty straightforward. Now we're going to jump into the first mystery, which is Atonement. So first off, you're going to want to find Exile's Vow from the Icovian Memorial. It is going to be uh, one of those pages that you add to your archaeology book. You can find it in the excavation hotspots just outside of the portal. And once you do find it, you can talk to Gika and you will complete that mystery. Now moving on to the second mystery, it is the Leap of Faith. So to complete this, you will want to obtain and restore an Icovian Gariji, which is the artifact that you can obtain just outside of the portal in these excavation hotspots. So you will want one of those and you will want to restore it. Now once you have done that, you can enter the portal. And then here you will be able to excavate at the hotspots here as well. You should obtain some Boots of Flight, so then you can add both the Boots of Flight and the Stormguard Gurji to your tool belt. Once you have attached both of them to your tool belt, you can walk over both of the platforms here, and then you will complete the mystery. Now moving on to the third mystery, this is the Spy Who Loved Metal. This one's a pretty easy one as well, so you will want to find all three mission reports from the Keshek Gur and slash or the Tailory Debris excavation hotspots. This will require level 76 and level 81 archaeology, so essentially it can be completed at level 76 if uh, you want. Now both of these locations, they are located on the first island, which is the Recreation Island. Um, here is a map of both of the locations that you can find these pages at. You can simply read these pages and then destroy them because then they'll go straight to your archaeology book, so you don't actually need to keep them. And once you have obtained these, you can talk to Gika again, and you will complete this mystery. Now moving on to the fourth mystery, this is Wing Out. And there are a few steps to this one. So first you want to find and restore the Wingsuit V1. Then you'll want to find both the Lightning Conductors to upgrade it to the Wingsuit V2. And then finally you'll need to fly past the Lightning Post to complete the mystery. So the first thing that you're going to want to do for this mystery is find the Wingsuit V1. And in the northeastern part of the first platform, you'll be able to obtain the Wingsuit V1. In the top left, there is a map showing the location where you can find it. So once you get the Wingsuit V1, you're going to want to restore it. It only requires 40 Samite Silk, 20 Leather Scrap, 9 Stormguard Steel, and 1 Armadillion Yellow. So that is all you will need to restore it. So for step 2, you're going to want to get the Wingsuit V2. So you're going to want to go off the platform in the first area and just follow where I am going here. Um, you're going to want to go over to the platform just to the west, and then you're going to want to walk a bit north. Um, and go down the rope at the building here. So once you go down the rope, you will be able to find a lightning conductor, which will allow you to obtain the first upgrade of the V2 wingsuit. I did already pick up this upgrade, but it should be located right there. Now the second location for the uh, V2 upgrade 
you're going to want to go south this time so just follow where i'm going on screen from here you will want to go to the southeastern platform once you make it here you will want to go down the rope and you should find the next lightning conductor right here from here you want to go back up the ladder and jump off the ledge again then just continue going east until you pass these lightning posts that will allow you to complete the wing out mystery now moving on to the fifth mystery in the Stormguard Citadel. It is a study in Aether and it can be completed at level 85 archaeology. You can boost it from level 83 if you would like. So what you'll need to do for this is find all five project pages in the hotspots that require 85 archaeology or higher within the Stormguard Citadel. And then of course you'll need to talk to Jika just to complete the mystery. So you can go to any hotspot within the Stormguard Citadel that is above 85 archaeology. Here I'm doing the level 98 location, getting the uh, Golem Heart and the Golem Instructions. So you can obtain these pages here as well as all the other locations above level 85. And once you are completed, once you have all five pages, you can cash it in to Gika and complete the mystery. So next we're going to be completing the last mystery, which is Howl's Floating Workshop. This does require level 95 archaeology and it cannot be boosted, so definitely make sure you have that. You're also going to be obtaining the Wingsuit V3 during this mystery, and also you will need a Stormguard Garuji, which you can obtain at the level 95 excavation hotspot. So you will need to get one of those and you can add it to your tool belt. That is going to be the only item that you will require before starting. And I'm going to go break down each step so you guys know what to do. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is get the Wingsuit V3. You can obtain these in the southeastern island and also the northwestern island. You can fly to both of these islands with the Wingsuit V2. So just follow where I am going on screen. You should be able to find the Lightning Conductors here as well, which will allow you to upgrade it to the Wingsuit V3. Now, once you have picked up all of these upgrades and you have obtained the Wingsuit V3, you will want to enter the Gravitational Core. You'll also need the Stormguard Garuji as well, which you can obtain through Archaeology. Um, you'll just need to restore one and add that to your tool belt. So once you enter the Gravitational Core, you will enter a new location. You're going to want to study everything in this area. So there's the Theoretical Blueprints. And then also make sure you study the drawing board. Now once you have done this, you can go to your research team and you will want to send them off as a special research. So once you have studied the theoretical blueprints, you're going to want to research back to the drawing board, which is in the special research tab when you are in your research team interface. This will take approximately 40 minutes to complete, so you will need to wait for that to be completed. Once the 40 minutes are up and the research team does come back, you will want to make sure you claim the rewards, so just view the report, and then you can move on to the next step. So the next step, you're going to head back to the gravitational core. You're going to want to go back to the area here. And so the last step is going to be investigate the bench. You can also right-click the bench and click search to obtain 50 torn blueprint fragments, which will allow you to unlock some ancient invention items. But once you have done this, make sure you do investigate the bench and that will be the end of the last mystery for the Stormguard Citadel. And by completing all of these mysteries, you will have unlocked Ancient Invention. So you can now use your torn blueprint fragments on this bench and you can turn them into some blueprints, which you will be able to learn some Ancient Invention recipes from. You can create both tradable and untradable blueprints. So if you don't have them already, I would suggest doing the random blueprint, the untradable version. It only costs 150 torn blueprint fragments and you cannot get a duplicate. So essentially you can get all three of them for 450 torn blueprint fragments. And then with your leftover fragments, you can always create some tradable ones and sell them for some GP on the Grand Exchange. Anyway guys, that is basically it for this video. I really hope you found this guide helpful and that you're able to complete all of the mysteries fairly easily now. Ancient Invention is really awesome and I am planning on making some videos specific to Ancient Invention and some new perks and items that are specific to Ancient Invention. So definitely check out those if you are interested and subscribe so you will be notified for when those are released. And again, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.